Okay, so for um, share and show, we're gonna focus first on number three. Um, number three, I'm noticing right away, I always wanna make sure I double check what our operation is. Um, so our operation for this problem is an addition problem. Um, and so when I'm thinking back to what we did during our lesson, I know that the first step when I'm adding mixed numbers is to add fractional parts. So I'm gonna look at my fractional part of one half and my other fractional part of one half as well. And I'm going to add one half plus one half. I can do this multiple ways. I can think, okay, I know that if I have one half of a pizza and I have another half of a pizza, I know that I have a whole pizza. Um, but you can also draw a model if that helps. Just remember that your model should have the right number of pieces. And so if my denominator is two, I'm going to draw a model that has two equal parts. In this case, I'm gonna shade one half and I'm gonna shade one half as well. And that gets me to one whole. So I know that one half plus one half equals two halves, which is also equal to one whole. And then I'm gonna add my um, whole number parts, which is two plus three. I know two plus three equals five. I'm not gonna stop here though. I'm going to make sure I rename the sum because I know that two halves is actually equal to one whole. So this is really like saying five plus one. And I know that five plus one equals six. So your answer for number three should be six. Now for number six, the first thing I need to do is check my operation. My operation is subtraction for number six. So again, I wanna make sure that I'm following um, those steps to make sure I'm subtracting my, next, mix, my mixed numbers correctly. So I'm gonna start with my fractional parts. I'm doing nine tenths minus seven tenths. A lot of you from our previous lessons when we were back in school, remember that if I'm subtracting nine tenths minus seven tenths, I keep that denominator the same. So I know that I'm still working with tenths and I'm just gonna do nine minus seven, nine minus seven equals two. You can still, of course, draw a model for that. So again, you can just draw one of our bar models. You can separate it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal parts. Shade nine of them. Sometimes it helps if you use a different color marker. Um, and then you wanna take away seven of those. So I know that I'm gonna take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have two parts left over. Now I'm gonna subtract six minus three. Six minus three equals three. Three and two tenths is something that I really don't need to um, rename. However, some of you might've noticed that if we look at two tenths, we can actually simplify that to one fifth. That looks like it's saying greater than. We can simplify that to one fifth. So you can either say three and two tenths for this problem, or if you picked up on it, you can also rename that to three and one fifth. It's the same thing. With that being said, you should now complete all of your on your own pages, um, as well as going all the way through the homework and your spiral, rev spiral review. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to me. I think I only got one, um, one math page from yesterday's lesson. So make sure if you did not go and pick up your Go Math Workbook, you need to make sure you go get that. Um, and then the instructions to send me the picture are on Google Classroom or our class website. Have a great day and good luck. Let me know if you guys have any questions.